obviously knowing she's a smart woman, knowing what kind of popularity Trump has in this country, right? That MAGA fever. And when she went up against him, she knew that she offered something quite different, right? As a woman, as somebody who is soft-spoken, uh, somebody who thinks before they speak. And then you have Trump, right? I mean, his popularity is based on all the things that I just mentioned he is not, right? Um, but she she, she hung in there. I mean, she tried her best. And um, despite not winning primaries, the popularity was behind her. The donor money was behind her. And in the last minute, I think she just knew that she could not. I mean, he will be the nominee for the Republican Party. It's, it's interesting to watch this rematch of two old men, as a lot of people put it. What is uh, troubling to a lot of, of people who have their votes behind Nikki Haley is that they were either moderates, left of center, um, or just right of center. So she brought in a lot of the people who, who basically felt politically homeless uh, and gave them some uh, third option, a woman, someone who's much younger. And she has experience within the establishment, but also has a lot of thoughts on her own. She's very strong on the economy, very strong on foreign policy, comes from an immigrant background, but is very much strong on immigration and, and our national security. So I think she gave people a lot of hope as, as to a third option.